Hello and welcome to the lecture series on semiconductor physics. In this video lecture, we will talk about exciton. Exciton is the boundary state of an electron and a hole, which are attracted to each other by the electrostatic coulomb attraction between them. Let us consider an electron hole pair shown in this diagram. Because the hole has a positive charge and the electron a negative one, there is a Coulomb attraction between them. If the attraction is strong enough, the two form a boundary state known as an exciton. An exciton is formed when a light photon is absorbed by a semiconductor. This excites an electron from the valence band into the conduction band, leaving behind a hole in the valence band. This electron hole pair as a whole is known as an exciton. This is very similar to a hydrogen atom where an electron orbits around a proton. However, it has got a lower binding energy because of the small effective masses of the excited electron and hole. Let us talk about some properties of exciton. An exciton is a bound state of an electron and a hole which are attracted to each other by electrostatic coulomb force between the electron and hole. It is electrically neutral quasi particle that exists in insulators, semiconductors and in some liquids. It can transport energy and momentum without transporting net electrical charge. Excitons have slightly less energy than unbound electron and hole. Excitons generally move freely through the medium, sometimes get scattered by impurities. The excited electron can fall back into the empty hole state, leading to the emission of a photon. Excitons, therefore, are metastable with a finite lifetime. The recombination lifetime is of the order of picosecond to a few nanoseconds. Excitons are seemingly present everywhere in all types of matter, including semiconductors, insulators, metals and organic materials that is in all systems where electrons can be excited to higher states semiconductors with large dielectric constant have only weakly bound excitons which can be observed only at cryogenic temperatures so semiconductors with small dielectric constants are preferred for stability now a question arises why the excitons are not known better one reason might be that they have very very short lifetime and have unstable nature in semiconductors. In insulators, however, they have relatively longer lifetime but then electronics industry takes little interest in investigating insulators. They have a smaller binding energy than a hydrogen atom though the particle size is much larger. Excitons have a very short life in the range of picoseconds to a few nanoseconds. It means they cannot move very far. Research is going on to control the lifetime and motion of excitons. Excitons lifetime of up to tens of microseconds and motion over distances of up to a millimeter have been reported during the last decade. The total distance that exciton can travel depends on their lifetime, their average velocity and their scattering rate with defects and lattice vibrations. The diffusion constant L is given by L is equal to under root D by tau where D is the diffusion constant and tau is the exciton lifetime. Typical values of D at low temperature in coupled quantum wells are found to be 1 to 10 cm square per second which implies a diffusion distance of hundreds of microns. Uses of excitons For light collection in photosynthetic plants, as wavelength shifter, as excitons slow down their energy decreases. So E is equal to Hc by lambda gives lambda will change with energy. They can also be used in optical delay line. Classification of excitons Frankel excitons In materials with a relatively small dielectric constant, the Coulomb interaction between an electron and a hole may be strong and the excitons thus tend to be small, 
of the same order as the size of the unit cell. Molecular excitation may even be entirely located on the same molecule as in Florence. This Frankel exciton named after Jakub Frankel has a typical binding energy of the order of 0.1 to 1 electron volt. Frankel excitons are typically found in alkali halide crystals. Vanier Mott excitons. In semiconductors, the dielectric constant is generally large. Consequently, the electric field screening tends to reduce the Coulomb interaction between electron and holes. The result is vanier exciton, which has a radius larger than the latest spacing. A small effective mass of electron that is typical of semiconductors also favors large exciton radii. As a result, the effect of the lattice potential can be incorporated into the effective masses of the electron and hole. Likewise, because of the lower masses and screened Coulomb interaction, the binding energy is usually much less than the, that of a hydrogen atom, typically on the order of 0.01 electron volt. This type of exciton was named for Gregory Vanier and Neville Francis Mott. Vanier Mott excitons are typically found in semiconductors with a small energy gap and high dielectric constant. That's all in this video. Please subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Thank you very much for watching the video. Thank you.